What is going on with this camera? Alright, so hopefully this is I don't know, fair cursed. But uh what is up guys? I feel like I haven't been on here in days and probably because I haven't been here on days. But anyways, so I am now leaving my house. It is 8.34. I'm heading over to Whitney High School in Rockland and um, getting re ready for, I really hope my camera doesn't knock over. <gasps> oh God, okay. Anyways, so like I said, I'm heading over to Whitney High School right now uh, because I am ready for meet round two. So this is now gonna be my second competition of this year, 2016. And um, I'm super excited, mostly because I feel like I prepped myself better this time around than I did my first one. And I just hope that things that were um, issues in my last meet that um, I corrected for this one. I mean, I'll always, as an athlete, we can do, okay, we're moving, um, as an athlete, you know, we can always do more things to become better. And um, I am, you can't even see me right now. Hmm. Um, help. Help me. <clears throat> Anyways, like I was saying, um, you know, as athletes, we can always do more to better ourselves and become, you know, stronger, faster, better, um, increase our time, our speed, um, agility. So hopefully this meet is a improvement since my first one and I just hope that you know with more competitions I just get better and better that is the goal um, for those who don't know I am competing in the first annual um, Tommy Kona Memorial meet um, oh and this guy just ran the stoplight all right good morning to you sir I'm not trying to die so go ahead and cut me off but um, anyways <clears throat> yes, I will be competing in the first annual memorial of Tommy Kono. So he did pass away early this year. It was pretty unfortunate, especially because I live in the Sacramento community. So a lot of people, he was just a really big influence to the Sacramento area. And he also lives, or he lived in my hometown in Hawaii. So this one's a pretty good one for me. Um, if I don't blow it today, you know, I might not want to show my face after this. But uh, anyways, I just want to say that I'm excited and uh, thank you for everyone who's been supporting me through this journey. Um, it's definitely been a crazy one. Oh, last thing, maybe if you guys have been following me since the beginning, this will be my anniversary meet, meaning that this will be one year that I have committed to weightlifting. And um, if you're my mother or if you're my family, you know that when it comes to sports or anything athletic, um, I never really used to commit to it. The only thing I really committed to was competitive dancing. So, but besides that, I mean like, everything else just went um, I'm not super old, I'm 25, 25 this year, so, but just the fact that, you know, I'm starting so late technically in the weightlifting game, um, I'm just excited to be here, and um, I'm excited that God has blessed me with, you know, these opportunities. So, anyways, peace out, I shouldn't be driving and filming, and I look retarded and everyone's looking at me, and everyone's driving super slow, come on bro, like, seriously, Jesus. Anyways, bye! So I'm just here with my best friend. Say hi! An ultra best friend, and she bought me a coconut. Hey, say hi to your coconut. Best friend is doing coconut to your What's up, Jared? How do you feel? Nervous, but excited. Good. Good, good. He's gonna hit some big numbers. This first meet kind of sets the stage for his next training cycle. Yes. Obviously, he's gonna get, him, get the bug. That bug's gonna get him, man. <laughs> and he's gonna see why we do all these things. I'm excited. Look out. What's up? Coconut. I'm only from Hawaii, so. <laughs> see, am I gonna be hydrated? Is that the real question? Oh. I look really flawed right now. You do. It's a cool shirt.
So um, it's Monday and I didn't close out my video so this is me closing it out and giving you my views of how Saturday went. So you were there. How do you feel like I did? I think she did amazing. Of course she's going to say that. <laughs> Honestly though I do feel like I did a pretty good job. I did go four for six on Saturday and um, that's kind of, I mean I was okay with that because I remember telling myself that I was going to open pretty aggressively and um, I wanted to PR. So I didn't PR, however I did add five kilos to my overall total so that was a big plus for me. If you guys don't know the, the math to that, that's like equivalent to 11 pounds. On my snatch, if you see on the corner, um, the lady gave me a thumbs down but I did get two white lights for that last snatch. So I'm double jointed in both my knees and in my elbows. So when I locked out on the snatch, it kind of looks like my elbow bends but if anything, it just kind of like, you know how my elbows are. It's just bending in the opposite direction. Like the direction it's not supposed to bend in. That's it's basically natural. That, but that's, I, I've always been like that. Um, I'm very flexible so that's pretty normal for me but I did have to tell her like, hey, you know, I do, I'm very double jointed in my elbows so that's the reason why it may look like I wasn't fully locked out but trust me, a bish was locked out. And then on the clean and jerks, I think the biggest mistake that I made was I made too big of jumps in between on my attempts. So I started out with 55 kilos and then I went up five kilos each attempt. Now for a woman, two to three kilos is safe, especially when it comes to while you're on the platform. If you're warming up, maybe not so much, but definitely when you're trying to hit big numbers, I would say stick with your head <laughs> within Sorry. that range. Overall, it was a good meet. Obviously, like I said before, you can always learn from your last meets and um, just perfect it and improve it. So I need to take the next like maybe three days off, but I'm definitely going to be right back in the gym come Tuesday. What are you competing? That's what I really want to know. So if, if you guys don't know, my best friend Liz, she is a, how do I say it? You're not an NPC. You're um, IMBA. IMBA. So she does a beginning baby. <laughs> but she always, honestly, I remember the day you told me you were going to do it. Um, I knew you were going to do it. I just didn't know like how successful you were going to be in it. Liz is not a big girl at all. She's, um, she's, she has like the automatic fit body. Bullshit. <laughs> Why would you even say that? <laughs> For the most part, you've kept yourself pretty in shape. Um, I know you always were in the gym and you were already like meal prepping, but to see like you be a little more serious about it because you had a goal and you were going to be competing in it, I just noticed that there was such a great change in the way your body looked and like your mentality. So, <laughs> but I should probably take. I probably should take some of your advice when it comes to the dieting part and especially the cardio part because eat pizza, eat donuts. Home girl is donuts. So now I'm huffing and puffing during uh, training sessions. I personally <laughs> think she should get into powerlifting because she totally has um, the potential of making it big. But um, 
that's just me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it was good meet. And then we'll see you, you said October? October 22nd. Oh my god, wait, October 22nd? Oh my god. The sack open for powerlifting is on the same day and my boyfriend is competing on that day and my best friend's competing on that day. Oh, that's I'm so torn. Oh my god. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye.